believe it or not, still working on this computer, going to put in this bigger drive, but another situation came up. A lot of people ask me, um, why would you defragment a solid state drive, which is what I'm doing here right now. Well, I'll show you why you would defragment a solid state drive. So this is the pre-optimization report. You see I used C slash U slash V, and it gives me this report before it starts doing the defrag. Well, here's a thing a lot of people don't know. This drive basically ran out of space, and we have a problem here. <clears throat> the free space count, see how it's 102,000? What that means is that the way that modern file systems work, they have like a list of free blocks, and they merge, like if you have a block here that's free and a block here that's free, it merges them together into one entry that's larger. So what this means is that the file system is tracking 102,000 extents of free space. When this defragmentation process, um, which also does free space consolidation, is done, that number will come down. When you have a large amount of, a, of free space counts, it takes longer to allocate space for a file and you're likely to have more fragmentation because going in and cherry picking what's needed to create a file or extend a file or whatever, it has to go through a much larger list. So it's more processor intensive, it's more disk intensive. Um, and, and here, average free space size, 204 kilobytes. So if I allocate a megabyte file, well, the largest spot free space size is this, but what it's going to do is it's probably going to take a larger chunk of space like this one, the 753, and it's going to splinter off a piece and then leave this, uh, what's left in the free space list, and shave a piece off of that. But if your largest free space size drops below a certain amount, then making new files um, of that size, of, of larger than that size, that is guaranteed to start fragmenting which means more tracking. Every file in a modern file system is extents too. So if you have, um, if you have a, an extent here, an extent here, an extent here, it has a list that it keeps of all that stuff. And those extents, one, two, three, whatever, um, they, that are all separate on the disk, there is a list, extent one, extent two, extent three. Well, if it's a lot of fragments, that list gets really long, which means that it takes even more work to go dig up all the pieces of that file. It's just, everything has to work just a little bit harder. Magnify that by thousands of files, tens of thousands of files. Um, and the previous video I just recorded during the same session is talking about, well, okay, you're gonna not let me scroll. I'll grab you by the scroll bar. Um, was talking about this Office Solution Packages disaster way up here somewhere, I don't know. Um, but, you know, you have a lot of files in a modern system. In fact, I can show you, <laughs> where is it? Um, that's movable files and folders. There's 339,000, and that's actually a low number. I've seen computers with a million. I've seen some computers with two or three million um, file entries in the MFT. <laughs> it gets pretty bad, That's and you can't lower that number. But anyway, the bottom line here is that this is a reason you would defragment an SSD to get that free space count down because it doesn't matter. This is not an SSD or hard drive issue, and yes, it affects hard drives more, but everything does. What this is, is the system has to work harder. It has to access the SSD more. It has to process more to get that done, um, to find the free space when it makes a new or temporary or whatever file or extends an existing one your computer has to work that much harder. And getting that number down, that free space count right there down, that makes a big difference. In fact, let me just abort this and show you um, how much better it's gotten just while I've been running my mouth for the past four minutes. Come on. Come on. It's like a bad psychologist over here. Hurry up. Yeah, that's more like it. All right. So that defrag and consolidate that I aborted got it down from two or whatever down to ninety nine thousand, which is not very very impressive. That gives you an idea how bad the fragmentation and such it actually is. Um, and you'll notice the fragment of file count came down, but the free space is still all over the place. So if we let this run for a while, and oh, you see that largest free space size went down. Something must have happened in the meantime, but. 
yeah, we need this number to come down, and it does improve the performance of the system. Not when you're doing just like casual stuff, but if anything heavy happens, like say a Windows update, anything that allocates a lot of files, that becomes a problem. And things like updates cause this to go up, which over time makes that a problem too. Anyway, there you go. Defrag your SSD rarely, but there are reasons to do it. And yes, it will wear it a little bit, but that's okay. It's for the greater good.